Hello everyone and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last session, we have been continuing on in the days after the big reveal, the uh, big Ikutsuki showdown, and uh, it's been it's been relatively normal for a few days going through school and stuff, but then yesterday a new guy showed up at school and the new guy sounds exactly like Pharos, almost identical to Pharos just slightly deeper. And uh, so that is incredibly sus. So, yeah, that is what's going on at the moment. Let's have a um, chat. Um, um, what was his name? Ryoji? Ryoji Mochizuki? That sounds right. Anyway, I saw him in the hallway. He has a very strange aura about him. Like he's fucking death. <laughs> like he's the death arcana itself. Negatory. Be careful of Ryoji, Sam. There is something about him. I don't know exactly what, though. Yeah, I do know exactly what. This motherfucker's been talking to me all year. Hey! So I went to the hospital to see Chidori, and she just ignored me the whole time. Hmm, guess I'm in a bit of a pinch here. Might have to stay up all night coming up with jokes to get her to smile. Surely that will work. So? I don't like how Ryoji-kun hits on all the girls. Well, he's pretty good looking, so a lot of them probably don't mind. Unlike Junpei, who couldn't get a girl if he was the last guy on the planet. <laughs> I almost feel bad for him. Wait, what? I heard that. How dare you say something like that about this hunk of burning love. Whoa. Hunk of burning love? What's that? It sounds kind of dangerous. We better avoid it. <laughs> oh, I love that battle. Oh, that's so good. Baba da boo. Baba da bee. Okay, uh, what is available tonight? Nothing. <laughs> so I guess we're going... Wait, was that... No, we already did the... We did the computer thing, right? Yeah, we did the computer thing. Cool, let us... Oh, wait, this isn't the walk. That is not the walk. Okay, is there is there literally anything I can do at night time that is useful? I, I've thought this before, I couldn't think of anything. We've done the big eat challenge, right? Uh... Oh, I can think of something. I can think of something. There is potential for the arcade to give our persona stats, isn't there? What persona do we have equipped at the moment? This one? Well, that is not useful. Uh... You're the one with the crazy magic stat, right? I feel like I'll be keeping you for a while. Uh, raises Persona's strength. Oh, well, maybe I should <laughs> not. Uh, are you a strength guy? How much strength? 47. You're only one less strength. You're way lower level, but only one less strength. That's kind of crazy. Do I have any other strength ones? Not you, not you. You, but I, I'm not actually going to be using you. No, okay. I, I kind of want to keep using you, because your Getsui is so good. Wait, did I actually equip him? Nope, sure didn't. <laughs> Played the fighting game Punch Boxer. I threw a punch just the right moment, defeating my foe with a single blow. The equip persona's strength was raised by three. Nice. I guess that's what we'll be doing most nights then. I had forgotten that that option existed. Tuesday the 10th. Morning. I heard Kurijo Senpai is coming back today. How is she? Huh? I don't know. What should I even say to her? I wouldn't be surprised if she's not up for talking though. Yeah. It's gonna be rough. Glasses are dead. 
Negatory. Ryoji-san is dangerous. I have reanalyzed him and still detect nothing out of the ordinary. Nonetheless, I have a bad feeling about him. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Dude, the new transfer student is a total chick magnet. I guess he does kind of stand out. Ugh, I really hate guys who have good looks. Yeah, they are flirting with death itself. It must suck to move here from another country. You're always the center of attention, but Mochizuki couldn't seems to be enjoying it. I bet he is. Um, right. Is he anywhere to see? Is Mitsuru anywhere to see? Is she downstairs? In school? Wob, 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 wob. Hey, Mitsuru super fan. I hate this. I don't want to see Kirijo Senpai so depressed. Senpai, if there's anything I can do, I'd do it at once. Even though I can't do much, I'll put my all into supporting you. That's what I wish I could bring myself to say to her face. I heard Mochizuki gun from class 2F's parents are overseas for work or something. He's rich and he's hot, unlike my boyfriend. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh yeah, I see Mochizuki kun's new hot real estate then. But I hear he's asking out every girl. I'm not really interested if he's not serious about relationships. Yeah, why is he doing that? One one day I will remember I can't go there. What is bro playing at? Death itself comes to school and starts trying to chat people up. Like what? <laughs> Ryojikun seems a little different. He's got an exotic face. No Japanese guy would ever look like that. I should hang out with him some weekend and check out his fashion style. His fashion style is like, wear normal shit and then a big yellow scarf. Crazy fashion style. Insane. Okay, Miyamoto can be maxed out. Uh, so let's do that. Let's do that. Heading to practice? Let's head to practice. Wait, was that level... Did that say level 8? No, it did say level 9. I was going to say, I was, I was like, what? I just misread. I'll race you downstairs. Just kidding. Let's save that for the track, yeah? How are you holding up, Kaz? The real reason I do the Chariot so Social Link. You go! too much weight on it. Okay, then let's take an early break. You mind giving Kaz's leg a quick massage? No problem. Let's see that leg. Sorry. Missing practice because of me. Hey, don't be like that. This is for your nephew, right? Still. Bro is looking really sunburned. Sorry. His portrait was looking really red. I started on my way back to the dorm after practice. Hey! Do you have a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. Sure do. Let's hear it. Actually, let's go somewhere else. I don't want anyone from the team hearing me. Plus, it might take a while, so... Okie doke. Let's go somewhere. Anywhere. Anywhere? Let's go back inside the school! The scent of broiled fish fills the air inside the restaurant. Uh, where do I even start? It's all a mess in my head. First things first. This is for you. Sports tape. My nephew gave it to me. He said it's a good luck charm. He gave me more than I'll ever need. And if you get hurt during practice, now you can tape yourself up. Hoggers. I wanted you to be the first to know. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna have surgery to fix my knee. Nice. What about your promise? I probably won't be able to keep it. Guess I'll owe him an explanation. I don't mean to pout or anything. I'm just trying to stop making selfish choices. That I don't is think it's right for the whole team to suffer because of my knee and my nephew. Even if I manage to win, I don't think I'd feel good about it afterward. True. Up until now, all I could think about was winning. But my eyes opened up after Coach grilled you about my knee. It was such an obvious thing. I realized 
I can't keep thinking only about myself. Winning still means a lot to me. That's part of who I am, and that's probably not going to change. But for now, I'm not going to worry about winning races. I'm going to focus on winning back my health instead. You've really grown up. You think so? In a good way, right? Like, I'm more mature. Anyway, I can't just keep asking for your help all the time. That said, thanks for everything you've done for me so far. Between practice and rehab, I'll have a lot going on. But I'm gonna kick butt both of you. And someday, I'll kick your butt too. Mate, I'll break your fucking knees again. Miyamoto shared how much he cares about me. I feel like we're becoming closer. Pog, angelic pogging. I am Val. Thou art I. Thou art hast pogged to maximum level. The innermost power of the chariot arcana. What are you giving me? You are giving me. We now bestow upon you the ultimate form of the chariot. That survey says. Thor? The mighty god of thunder? Okay. I'm gonna go tell my nephew what happened and offer to go through rehab with him. I wonder which one of us will recover first. He's a tough one, you know, just like me. I passed the time chatting away with Miyamoto. I asked him when the next Mario game is coming. Ba -ba -ba -bum -bum. What did I order? Some of that. Sounds pretty good Welcome to back. me. Mitsuru-san has just returned to the door. She looked really tired. She went straight to her room without saying a word. Are you worried? I speculate. Worried? No, not exactly. How should I say this? I feel... I feel responsible for what happened. Well... You were mind controlled, so like it really wasn't your fault. Come to think of it, the crops should be ready to harvest. Nothing going on. Oh, what was that? Ken has an event? Okay. I guess he must be upstairs. Yeah. Mitsuru's back, but like anyone would expect, I'm sure there's nothing we can say to actually make her feel better. All we can do is let time heal her wounds. Yeah. That do be the way of it. You know. Excuse me. Mitsuru-san appears to be extremely fatigued. I believe it would be a waste to leave her be for now. Oh, <laughs> not a waste. Huh? Brain? Reading? I believe it would be wise to leave her be for now. Okie dokie. Uh, Fuku, you're max, right? Ba -ba 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 -boo. Uh, he's probably in here. Let's just see if I can knock on Mitsuru's door first. That's Yukari. Where's Mitsuru? That one. I wonder if she's okay. Well, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Where is he then? Is he outside? Oh. What up, my guy? Senpai. Oh, 
Itadori-san, I know you must be busy, but do you have time to come with me tonight? Seems like Amada wants me to accompany him somewhere. Do you want to go and look at the blood stain that's down by... <laughs> Should I spend the evening with Amada? Sure. Thank you very much. Thanks. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to go there. Oh god, was I, I was joking. I was joking. You're actually taking me to the place that fucking Shinji died? I'd like to head over to Port Island Station now, if that's okay with you. I was joking. Do you want to go look at the blood stain? So then, I took it apart and put it somewhere. <laughs> I want to go to a bar called K Sera Sera. Whatever it's down will this be. Way. Will I was be. thinking of getting Mitsuru san a gift, and I heard I might be able to buy what I'm looking for at the bar. Hey, what's up with them? Who knows? What's a kid doing here? What's your ugly ass Maybe doing out of the house, mate? Dangerous. Fucking hide that but shit. Supposedly, it's from the only general open public. Night. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. Hmm. Huh. Is it a bit further down? <sighs> now there's little kids running around. Oh, it's become so wholesome here. Hey, it's past your bedtime, little boy. It's past your lifetime, Mommy motherfucker. Mommy's waiting off. for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shut them up. No, it's fine. I'm totally okay. I don't want you to go out of your way for that. Don't worry, I love killing people. <laughs> this looks like the place. The owner here is really particular about the taste of his drinks. They say he has ingredients you can't normally find, and for one of the cocktails he makes, he uses an extremely rare tea leaf. You did your research. I borrowed a computer from Fuka-san and gathered some information. Mitsuru-san seems to know her teas well, so I figured I shouldn't give her anything weird. I hope the bar owner is willing to share some of it, though. Probably just gonna get fucking turned away at the door. Well, he looked scary, but at least he agreed to sell it to us in the end. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Boy, I'm I thought they were going to be like out. ten year old I in can't a bar. Wait to give nah. this to Mitsuru san. With everything that happened, I'm sure she's been having a hard time. It's sad and painful to be in a home knowing that you'll never see a loved one there with you again. So, I'm hoping this makes things more pleasant for her, at least while she's at the dorm. Although, it is Mitsuru san we're talking about, so I'm sure she'll be fine. I she just will as soon as her social nice link opens up. She was able to think about things over a delicious cup of tea. Then I'll make her feel better. Uh. You've grown strong. You really mean that? No, nah, I'm just trying just to guess you up. Thinking about when the same thing happened to me. Well, uh, we should head back before it gets too late. <sighs> Something happened? Nah, it's nothing. Okay. Weird. Thanks for joining me today, Senpai. You're welcome. And sorry for making you worry about all that stuff. We haven't really talked properly since what happened to Aragaki. So <laughs> since what happened? I uh, keep thinking about something weird that happened. Nothing to do with me. me. I have to live for myself. I didn't but call him there to kill him or anything. Exactly it just happened. I do that. I wasn't sure where to start, but I've been trying all kinds of things. Things that the old me would have never considered, like hanging out with my friends at school, reading manga, and even watching TV. I'm also trying to make an effort to talk to people in the dorm more. Mitsuru-san helped me with my homework the other day. And I even beat Junpei-san in a video game. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, I also ate snacks Junpei with Hikari-san and the others. By a and Aiga-san helped me feed hamburger. I realized that little things like this can really make life enjoyable. Well, that's what I've learned so far. Invite me next time. <laughs> of course. Let's go get ramen together again one of these days. It was so delicious the last time we had it. Yeah. You know, we can go and reminisce about that time you got my best friend talk killed. About you a lot. Everyone seems to be really happy when they do too. 
The hard battles continue, but we're still able to keep going. And it's because we all know when we come back, they'll always be there for us. Is that how you feel? Yeah. I can't explain it very well, but I feel like you can see the real me. The murderer? I want to be more like you, Senpai. I want to continue learning from your example. That's okay, right? Anyways, sorry that all took so long. The night air is getting chilly. Shall we go back home? We are literally at home right now. I listened to what Amada had been up to as we went back to the dorm. I feel like my charm has improved. You feel wrong. Wednesday the 11th. It's gossip time! Everyone's favourite time. Hey there! Hey, have you talked to the new transfer student yet? Isn't he handsome? Oh, totally! Yeah, I have! Mochizuki can right? He's so sweet and dreamy. Also, he looks rich. I'm going for him for real this time. What? Oh my god. Well, that's not fair. I call dibs? Like, you gotta respect the dibs? Hey. Hey. Oh, Yukari is available. And she won't level, right? True. Incredible stuff. Um, who else was available today? Bomb, bomb. Uh, there was something I was going to do. What's I going to do? Well, oh, Bro's got something to say now he's maxed. What's up? Yo, Itandori. The past is history. I'm looking forward to the future. You too, right? <laughs> but if you ever need help, don't be afraid to ask. You can count on me. Nice. Do, do, do. Anyone around? RPGs aren't that bad on cell phones. One game lasts for a pretty long time, so I guess I'll play it a little while longer. The other day I saw something weird on the internet. There was a high school chemistry forum that said they put a container of water in the middle of the school. They dropped in one mole of sodium, causing a huge explosion. Too bad it wasn't filmed. I'd have liked to see it. Okay. Bow, bow. So, this girl, uh, that was like, I need to get a drink from Kansai for the, uh, for the Elizabeth request. I said I was going to look that up. How the fuck do I get a drink for her? And uh, the answer is, that school trip that the teacher mentioned the other day, apparently that school trip is to Kansai. And so I just need to buy drinks while we're there. So, that makes sense, I guess. Although, I wish it had just, like, said that. <laughs> but, like, she'd have gone, we're going to Kansai soon, or whatever. Or whatever. Um, and the other thing was, this fucking... This is so dumb. This one, I actually think, is stupid as fuck. She's like, I already gave you the tools you need to clean this. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? Because if I currently go in there, there's someone already cleaning in there. And she goes, sorry, you can't do it. And I was like, what? What do you mean? And it turns out, turns out, fucking million trillion years ago, she gave us the fucking scrub brush, which is a weapon. A weapon for Ken. Luckily, we have something better we can give him. High crit rate, there you go. And the scrub brush is what you need, but because we had it equipped, it doesn't count. So even though we had the thing, she said, I've given you the tools, and we did, in fact, have the tools, because it was equipped, it wouldn't let us do it, which is so dumb. You have to unequip it, and then it'll let you do it. So strange. Don't worry, I've got a brush now. You came prepared. Well, all right, why don't you start from the other corner? Looks like I'll be helping the cleaning lady. One tile just won't get clean. Scrub hard. No matter how hard I scrub, the grime won't come off. 
Uh, scrub harder even more then? I gave it all my strength and the grime is beginning to lift. The tile is completely clean. Wow, you can eat off that floor. Do you help clean the school restrooms after lunch or something? You really know your stuff. Thanks, kid. Leave the rest to me. I successfully helped clean the restroom. Clam. Insane. In the membrane. Gekko Gun's chairman died from falling from the observatory. Usually it's the bad guys who tend to die by falling from a high place, so... Yeah, that can't be right. I guess I've been watching too many movies. No, you are in fact spot on there, my dude. Mr. Kirijo passed away. Officially it was from an illness, but I'd be no reporter if I just believed the official story. There's something going on here. I heard a rumour it might have been a murder. Indeed. You heard correctly. Hello, Good Elizabeth. Day. I've got Where a thing for requests. you. Wonderful. A thank you for your help cleaning the Port Island Station restroom. Oh, yes. The brush you use to clean the bathroom. The filth that's now encrusted on the bristles might help in battle. A very primitive form of biological warfare. Maybe this is a sort of weapon fusion? No? The maid outfit. The other maid outfit. Right, we already got one for food, didn't we? Very well. Is this one for Mitsuru? Please be for Mitsuru. Please be for Mitsuru. Please be for Mitsuru. Fuck! It's not. God damn it. Who's this one for then? Yukari. A magnificent piece. Sure. We will see what that looks like. Uh. Good day. Do any of your fucking requests? Are you accepting a request? Give a maid outfit for Mitsuru. Because I would love that. I would really appreciate. Damn it. None of them do. Very rude, well. honestly. Very, very rude. Um, do I have a lover's persona? Yeah. Insane that with a lover's persona, I have have to talk to her twice so far to get her to go to the next rank. Hey there. Yeah. <laughs> and then what happened? Yeah. Will it grow stronger soon? Finally. Christ. Two times we had to fucking chill with her. To bridge the gap between 9 and 10. Two additional times. Welcome back. Bum, 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 bum. So, um. I lost a parent, so I know how Mitsuru san feels. I don't really know how I got back on my feet, but I still remember how I shut myself away from the rest of the world. Hey! <laughs> oh, hey, man! Hear me out, will ya? So when I got to Jidori's hospital room, I braced myself and dropped my best one-liner. And to no one's surprise, Jidori ignored me again. <laughs> but the judging looks everyone gave me was the absolute worst. Ugh. Um... Ryoji can transferred here at such a weird time of year. Yeah, it's because he's not a real transfer student, motherfucker. Ha I is, is Makoto deaf? Is Makoto actually deaf? Is he? Because, like, why has he not told everyone, hey, this new transfer student guy sounds fucking identical to Pharos? Why, why is Makoto not sharing that info? That seems like pretty important info, and it was almost immediately obvious to me. I immediately knew I recognized his voice, but I wasn't sure if it was, like, from this game or just from something else. And then, like, within his next couple of lines, I narrowed it down to, yeah, that's fucking Pharos' voice. Maybe it was because of his parents? What do they do anyway? It seems like no one really knows anything about him. Hmm. He's pretty mysterious. Yeah, he's the mysterious boy for fuck's sake. Oh my god. I remembered. I actually remembered. Oh yeah, there's a bit of space. Oh yeah, should I chill it in the fridge? Oh yeah, I should come back tomorrow. Oh yeah. I think I mixed her out already, didn't I? Wah, 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 wah. 
Right, I guess it's, uh... I guess it's Persona level up time. Ba -doo, ba -doo, which actually is pretty pointless because we're just gonna fucking swap out the personas, so. Personas of magic. So, like, this actually feels completely useless now that I think about it. Because it's not like stats transfer over. Huh. That's really annoying now that I think about it more. Ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo. Do I want to do Thoth, or do I want to do... Lots of face. Wait, no, not you. Wait, who was the one I had? You, 55. Bufu Dine. You are my highest damage dealer. Bam, 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 bam. So do I want to boost my highest one higher, or do I want to make my other ones? Stronger. Maybe I want to make my other one stronger. I feel like I'm going to be keeping you for a while. Because you've got... You've got, uh... Almighty damage to all foes. Which is very good. Did I actually... I keep forgetting if I actually equipped it. Yes, I did. Okay. ba ba bum bum I played the fortune-telling game, Edgar's House of Fortunes. Dr. Edgar's dubious-sounding fortunes were actually right on point. Hog. Thursday the 12th. And that's why... It's November already. The third-year students must be cramming frantically by this point. Don't worry though, you'll share their fate next year. I can just see you now tearing your hair out. Anyway, it's a bit cold today, but there's no need for the heater. Let me tell you why. Winter is supposed to be cold. You have to learn to appreciate the temperature rather than curse it. That's the Japanese way. Do you understand me? You don't, do you? As Sei Shonagon once wrote in her famous pillow book, Winter Early Mornings. Yes, that's right. Hmm, let's see. Itadori. What was she describing with such a sparse line? Uh... Her favorite time in winter, I guess? Yeah. The answer was pretty obvious. So you do have some basic sense. The author was describing her favorite time in winter. She's now famous for having written about her likes, dislikes, and other observations. She admires what the snow represents, the beauty of the winter frost. Rather than curse the winter chill, she appreciated its positive qualities. Oh, how wonderful Japanese culture is. Despite its modern youth, anyway. Hoi, get fucked. And if you think my hair's frosty, remember that you'll eventually be just like me. A bitch. Clam. Come on, Yukari. Be available. Nice. Oh. Oh. Really? Really? I'm gonna get fucked out of finishing Yukari's thing by fucking Pharos? Really? <sighs> Sometimes I start heading to the hospital without even realizing it. Today was one of those days. Chidori. Why'd she. God damn it, man. God fucking damn it. Cucked out of finishing Yukari's final level by fucking Pharos? By fucking. I, I'm, I'm assuming he's the final boss of the game? All the fucking shadows reformed into him, and suddenly Ferris gets his memories back and is like, Yo, peace, I'm out of this bitch. He's gotta be the final boss. He has to be the, refor the reformed, like, amalgamation of all the shadows, and therefore the thing we need to defeat. It has to be. I will be genuinely surprised if it's anything else. 
Uh, before we do him, because obviously I guess we will be doing him instead of Yukari. God damn it. Uh, let's go check and see if Mitsuru is available. Nope. Where is the wife? Ba ba da bum bum ba da bing ba da boom ba da bing ba da boom bing ba da boom ba da bing ba da boom bing ba da boom bing ba da boom bing ba da boom bing ba da boom. All right, dickhead. Hey there. Oh, Makoto-kun, are you free? I'm going out with a few ladies later, but I guess some of their friends want to talk with me first. Maybe we can all go together. Wouldn't that be so much more fun? I think they're waiting for me on the roof. Want to come along? Ryuji's invited me to join him. This might be a good opportunity to get to know what the fuck he's doing in my school. Why is Death patrolling around, hooking up with the ladies? Should I spend some time after school with Death? Thanks. Great. Then let's go. Oh, never mind. We're here to get the shit um, kicked out of us, potentially. It's nice to meet you. So, you said you needed to talk to me? Yeah, keep your hands off our girlfriends. All I've been hearing her talk about is Ryoji-kun. Yeah, you need to stop talking to every girl you see. Oh, what the fuck are you gonna um, do about it, timid student? Sorry. Gonna cry? I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to me. Is this a joke to you? Yes. I'm sorry if I offended you, but I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. That's a problem. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. Qu quit messing with us. Ryoji could get in danger if this continues. I should probably intervene. Give me your phone. I'm gonna delete all the contact info you have. Bro. <laughs> Where's the fuck off dickhead option? Where's the have I done delete your brain cells motherfucker option? Uh, He doesn't know any better. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Are you taking his side? Hey, it's that guy from 2F. I heard he's friends with Sonata Senpai and the student council president. They live in the same dorm. Sure am, bitch do do? boy. If he tells them, then... <laughs> Look, just stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Bro, if your girlfriends are trying to hook up with another guy... You're probably a shit boyfriend, right? All right. Just break it off. I'll do it. Better watch out, or he'll steal your girlfriend too. I mean, that's not necessarily true. They might not be Sorry. shit boyfriends, but this scene made them seem like shit you. boyfriends, you know? You know? Obviously, they shouldn't be cheating. I definitely phrased that badly. <laughs> but, uh, they did seem like shit boyfriends. Um... Ba -bum, bum, bum. Well, you did. Huh. Guess so, huh? I really didn't expect them to be so angry. Right, from now on, I will ask if they have a boyfriend first before inviting them out. Hey, thanks for having my back. You're very kind. I just didn't like those motherfuckers, but I don't like you either because you are sus as fuck. View. The ocean looks so beautiful. I do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. Hmm. I wonder why those guys were so mad. If you're in a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? I wonder what it means to like someone. Do you Whoa. have someone like that? Yes. Wow. That must be nice. Is it anybody I know? I wonder what you two talk about. Not much currently. She's fucking recovering from her still dad a dying. Lot that I don't understand. Look at the world out there. The people in this city, our classmates in school. 
You? I want to know more about all of it. All right. Uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat you to ramen. I just had some with Junpei-kun the other day. And Did? while we're at it, maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to. I spent some time with Ryoji, then returned to the dorm. I feel like I understand him a little better now. All stats of the equipped persona have been raised by one. Okay, so every time we interact with him, we get a persona stat boost. What the heck? Huh? Who's mysterious? Ryoji? Psh, that's just his MO. He's just trying to charm the ladies by acting all secretive. In reality, he's just a normal, good looking guy, like me. You are dumb as rocks, Junpei. I remembered to pick it up the very next day! Hell yeah! It's sufficiently chilled! Oh my god! We finally fucking did it, ladies and gents, by November 12th! By November 12th, we actually managed to fucking put a thing in the fridge and get it out and actually have it. They said it couldn't be done. Here we are fucking doing it. Insane. I have a suggestion. I have thought long and hard about Ryoji-san, though I still don't know exactly what is so unsettling about him. I want you to remain cautious around him. I will. I know exactly what's so unsettling about him. Sussy motherfucker. You will get short shrift from me. Oh. Hi. How's it going? I'm trying to angle the camera to actually see her face close up, but I don't want to. <laughs> doesn't want to play ball. There we go. Oh, there we go. The magical vanishing woman. <laughs> How's it going? My apologies. Sorry, but I won't be going to Tartarus for a while. I can't seem to find a reason to fight. Or a reason to live, for that matter. God damn! Let me start your show social link. I will make you feel better, I promise. Please! She can't find a reason to live? Fuck me, dude. Oh, I'm so sad for her. I don't think we finished Koromaru's thing, did we? He might gain a new ability. Nice. I'm getting the hang of brushing Koromaru. He's loving it. He's loving it, loving it, loving it. He's loving it like there. <laughs> Koro-chan looks so comfy. You sure know your way around a brush. Oh, you might know something about this. Lots of people like to give Koro-chan gifts whenever he goes for a walk. Do you know where he's keeping them? Uh, somewhere in the dorm, I guess? I see. So you're not sure exactly where they are. I wanted to make sure there wasn't any raw food that could go bad. <laughs> ah, right. You're still in the middle of brushing him. I'll leave you to it then. I brushed him with all my heart. Koromaru's fur is unbelievably shiny. He looks more fearless than ever. What a dog. Dong. Lowers accuracy evasion of all foes for three turns when a battle starts. Very nice. True. What a stud. Absolute stud muffin. Soul refresh. I wonder if this is what Fuka was talking about. Okay, what what do it be? Played with an overly excited Koromaru before heading to my room. 
Friday the 13th. Uh-oh.